Hi everybody, this is Josh with another video on Gravit Designer. I've had some viewers asking a few questions about the pen tool, and I just wanted to provide this video to talk about it a little bit deeper and provide some more details. I'm using the beta version right now, so if there's some features in this video that you don't see when you open Gravit Designer, make sure you go to Edit, Settings, and enable the beta version to see everything that I'm able to see on my screen. You should be able to do everything that I'm going to show in this video from the latest stable release. So I'm just going to use the pen tool and talk a little bit more about it. So the pen tool allows you to plot points. You can click and hold to create curves. And with snapping on, it's going to help me align my points or anchors to other points. And if I just click, it's going to create a straight point. If I click and drag, it'll create a curved point. But let's say you've plotted your first point. Then you click and drag to create a curve. And then you decide, you know what? I want that to be a straight point. We have some options over here in the inspector panel. And we can change the kind of anchor or joint that is. And we can see as we hover over it, we can make it a straight point. We can make it a mirrored point. We could disconnect it, and we can make it asymmetrical. Let's say I've drawn this curve. I don't want to make it a straight point. I can just click that, and then my next line segment will be exactly straight point. There's a couple of other ways to do this. I like to hold the Alt key. If I'm creating a curve and I want to change the direction of my next line segment, I can hold Alt on the keyboard while holding down my mouse button. I can change the direction of my next point. And your best bet is just to practice making shapes using some of these techniques. I suggest getting a picture that you can trace over to help you get familiar with making more organic and complex shapes with the pen tool. You can also change the behavior of an anchor or a joint simply by clicking on it after you've created it. You see the icon changes as I hover over it. And that will make a straight point for my next line segment. Holding shift while plotting points will enable snapping to 45 degrees, as well as help you line up points for creating perfectly straight lines. You can also create shapes with a single click and create all of your curves after the fact. Here's a simple polygon just created by clicking and plotting straight points. If I select my subselect tool or click D on the keyboard, I can hover over a line segment, click and drag to create my curves. And again, if I want to change the behavior of an anchor, I can select it with the direct selection tool and change its joint behavior. Don't forget that this is vector, so we can play with it kind of like clay or silly putty, even after we've created shapes. So I hope that helps give a little bit more depth and finesse that you can achieve using the pen tool. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.